Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary here on YouTube. And if you've seen my Instagram account, you saw that I've picked up a lot of cool stuff. I went on an ammo run this last weekend, and it's been a while since I've been able to do one uh, between the holidays and working a ton of hours and having a little bit of a cold. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to get out much. And this last weekend, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do the responsible thing and not get caught up on my laundry and my dishes and stuff and go on an ammo run. And uh, I, originally I was just going to, uh, you know, go see what was out there, uh, see, you know, if some of the rare stuff that I need is available. And it really turned into a giant shopping spree. So, uh, yeah, don't, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, you, you might you might get the urge to go on a shopping spree, just so you know. So, viewer beware. All right, so I set out to go on a route that I've, uh, uh you, it, you know, back in earlier of last year, early 2021, it was one of the more fruitful routes when it came to finding ammo during the ammo shortage. And so I laid out that route to do over the weekend, which takes me from, uh, West Tennessee, Northwest Tennessee, all the way up to, uh, center, uh, tenor, Tennessee, North center, Tennessee, which is, I ended up in Clarksville, which, uh, so I had laid out about eight places to stop to uh, check things out and I only made it to five before I said okay I need to stop <laughs> you know so uh, anyhow um, but I did find a lot of stuff and um, I picked up a couple firearms and a couple knives as you saw in the thumbnail and I am going to go over I got it all laid out here on on a little table and I'm going to go over the ammo first and then I'll go over the knives I picked up and then the firearms I picked up so uh, if you're one of those person, people that want to put down in the comment section what time each section starts, by all means, go ahead. That doesn't offend me. I know some people get upset about it, but I'm like, come on now, right? They're helping out the community. So anyhow, let's move uh, Let's move forward. So the first place I stopped, which is a little local sports uh, mom and pop shop, um, which is one of my favorite places to stop. Uh, it's um, yeah in Paris, Tennessee called Holmes. Uh, sporting goods and I picked up well just one box of nine millimeter um, I, I don't I have plenty of nine but I was like you know I'll pick up a box it was uh, it was reasonably priced I think it was $16.99 is the sticker on it no it was 16 or 17.99 not great prices but it's reasonable for the the current state of the ammo costs uh, I also picked up a box of 57 by 28 uh, I'm going to do a video eventually of my Ruger 5.7, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of ammo to shoot through it before I do it. So I've been slowly building up, and I'm, I'm about there. So I'll be having that one at the range here soon. And uh, this was 38, $38.99, which, you know, right now, I guess it's, it's about average. So, And they had some slugs here. These are 20 gauge, uh, two and three quarter inch. Uh, it's uh, three buck uh, pellets, but they're there's they're, they're called these defense rounds uh, or defender Winchester defender. There you go. Let's see if I can get the light Winchester defender, and it looks like they're uh, I don't know copper plated buckshot. So I bought actually I bought two boxes of these. They were 19.99, a little pricey, but I bought them both in you know 20 gauge. To try in my 20 gauge home defense um, tactical shotgun which I haven't done a video on so that'll be coming down the line as I try these out all right that was the first place I stopped and then I stopped at my favorite local gun store which I say local but I live out in the middle of nowhere right so <laughs> local is within an hour or so of my of my home but that is uh, JMC firearms in Paris if you are in that area and you get a chance to go by JMC firearms uh, check it out they just recently picked up their uh, or, or set up their um, silencer uh, kiosk which I guess was to go in line with the new e-form that I understand has collapsed or the system has collapsed the uh, ATF's e-form for form 4 I think it is but anyhow they got their new kiosk once I get my suppressor i'm waiting on i'm gonna probably try it out and see what i think so but i did pick up they had some 12 gauge uh nine pellet buckshot and i needed that for doing a test on some uh on a, on a shotgun that i haven't done a video on and it was 785 not bad uh, i also picked up a knife there that i will go over when i get to the knife section all right then i continued on i stopped at a place in dover it's a pawn shop 
Uh, they didn't have any ammo, but they did have, uh, they'd always have a pretty decent selection of firearms, and I did pick one up there. I will cover that under the firearms section. Next thing, I went up to Clarksburg, um, and the first gun store going in there, I, I don't remember what it's called. It's just, it's like, uh, right off the side of the road. I wish I could remember what it's called, um, but, uh, yeah, I could look it up. Maybe I will and put it in the comments section. But they, they had a really good selection of ammo because I was able to pick up something I haven't seen in a long time. And that was 45 Colt Cowboy uh, Action Loads. And uh, they, these were not cheap. Now, I'm normally used to seeing these go from 30 to 35 bucks, And they're $46.95. So they're high. And they only had three boxes. But I only bought one because my 45 Long Colts are more uh, pleasure shooting guns. I mean, they're neat. But they, um, they're not in my uh, home defense, self-defense lineup. So I'm not going to overstock on the ammo for them. But I wanted to get some more because I was running a little low. And it was a little pricey. But I went ahead and got one box of it. And like I said, I haven't seen this stuff in forever. Probably a year. I haven't seen any 45 long coal. I've heard of it coming in. You know, I've heard of people getting it in. And it goes just as quickly as they get it in. So... I bought a box while I had the opportunity to. All right. And at that same place, uh, I picked up some uh, this NSI. I haven't shot a lot of this. Uh, in, if you saw my Mossberg uh, Shockwave video, I... I uh, no, I'm sorry. No, it was, uh, it was my uh, Charles Daly 601 model video. I shot some of their mini slugs through, uh, through, that, through that shotgun. And they did really well, and I wanted to try their full-size buckshot through a couple of my shotguns. And so this is 9 pellet uh, double out buck. And I'll tell you something, this brand, it's a little bit more expensive. This box here was uh, $14.95, but the, I tell you what, I, the, the shells are just really interesting and loaded. And, and you know, so I, I was like, you know, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. I like their little mini bucks. So I was like, I'm going to try out their full-size buck, buckshot, uh, or I shouldn't say full-size, their two and three-quarter inch buckshot, and uh, see how it does. So NSI, right there. Uh, let me know if you've used NSI a lot. Um, I'm still new to it, so, but so far I've had good luck with it. And then I went on into uh, Clarks, Clarksville, and I stopped at, um, I think it's Tennessee Gun Country Store or something like that. It's, it's, it's a really nice place. They have a 25 yard indoor range. I think like that. If you're familiar with the area, let me know if I got the name wrong because uh, I stop there every time, no matter what, if I'm going to Clarksville, that place is one I always hit. They, they've always in Clarksville, they, 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 they tend to be the one that has uh, more of anything, especially during the ammo shortage. I don't know how they get it all in, but they do. So, but they did have some of this NSI mini bucks that I did use in that, um, in that model, uh, Charles Daly model 601, and they were 1045. These are the little mini bucks. If you've seen that video, uh, I wanted to get some more of these and uh, test them out in another shotgun I have. So I picked up another box of those, and then they had a box of these. I've never heard of this. This is uh, rifle. These are rifled slugs, uh, stars and stripes. I don't. Yeah, I don't know anything about this box, this brand, or anything. But um, yeah, these are 20 gauge. So, like I said, I bought those 20 gauge defense rounds and I'm going to have my 20 gauge tactical home defense shotgun out. So I needed some 20 gauge slugs. I got some, but they're all kind of, uh, um, yeah, I didn't want to break open an ammo can. So I was like, I'll buy a box of these and try them out. Something new. So they weren't cheap. They were $24.89 for $25. So a dollar a shell. But we're going to give them a try in that video when I do it. And then I also picked up, I was like, you know what? We're going on a 20 gauge theme here when I do that video. They had, and they had these in both 20 and 12 gauge. They had these um, uh, Home Defender Double Ball, less lethal home defense ammunition. These were going for, uh, oh, the price tag is not on them. Uh, they were around, I believe $10. So yeah, $2 a pop. But yeah, they're less than lethal um Less lethal home defense ammunition. And I had never seen these before. And I'll, I'll pull one out here so you can see it. Check it out. It's like a little, it's a plastic, well, kind of rubbery plastic ball. It doesn't look like it has much of a charge on it. 
So I was like, you know what? Ugh, I got to give those a try. See what I think. So I will be shooting those as well when I do my 20 gauge home defense tactical shotgun um, video. So, all right. That is the ammo I picked up. I will tell you this. There was a ton of ammo. 9mm. I saw 9mm all over the place. Uh, I thought I saw a decent amount of 380, uh, 40, 45 auto. Um, man, 556, 223. I saw some 270, you know, uh, 3030. I saw, um, yeah, two places had 3030. I was like, man, well, maybe the ammo's coming back. So I, I would say that there's ammo available. It's, it's, it's getting more plentiful. The prices are still freaking high. So... And, and, you know, I, I, I want to do some research into that because you know, there's a lot of things that affect prices, you know, the raw materials, the shipping costs, all that, man, I'm sorry, my freaking hair is all itchy. Um, I've been doing laundry, so I got static all over me, pardon my itchiness there. But, um, I think ammo, uh, the plentifulness of ammo is, it looks like it's coming back, you know, the availability of it, but the prices are still up there. And like I said, I don't know if that's due to the you know, transportation, material cost, all that, um, there's probably still some some gouging out there, but you know we'll see what it does. We'll see what it does. I'll do some looking into that. I'll probably do a video on it down the line. So, all right, there we go. That's the ammo section. Let's talk about a couple of these knives I bought. Right now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm getting into knives. I'm not a knife person uh, originally, but um, you know I've, I've I got a lot of spare time and uh, petty cash laying around. So I shouldn't say that. I'm I'm not like, um, it's not like I'm wealthy or anything, but you know, with my kids growing up and it just being me, I can indulge a little bit. So I'm not buying any of these high end knives, but I, if I see something for, uh, you know, 50 bucks or less that, that, that catches my eye, I'm probably going to pick it up. And this is one I picked up. I picked this up at JMC Firearms in Paris. This is a CRKT, a brand I'm not familiar with. So I will be doing some research on it. It was uh 2630 for this knife and it comes with a little sheath here and it's kind of got a neat little handle it's got finger grooves in it uh a little lanyard kind of thing and a belt sheath so now yeah, it had a, a tie thing too so you could tie it off but i took that off and then look at that look at that it's kind of like a little mini uh cleaver or something i don't know it's, it's just really neat and i tell you what this thing is super sharp super sharp so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do some looking into it and probably put it in one of my knife videos down the line and talk about it so as i get more familiar with it but i saw the shape and the size of it and i was just like man that is so cool and for the you know with that price i was like i'm gonna take it and give it a shot so really neat knife uh i'm gonna be looking into all the ins and outs of it all right so I also picked up, and this was at the uh, Tennessee Gun Country Store or whatever in, in Clarksville. Like I said, if I got it wrong, I apologize. Um, now, this is an in and out, uh, an auto, uh, out the front, auto open, auto close knife. Uh, it was a little pricey, $49. Um, it is just a Chinese made knife. It has no markings on it or anything, but it does have this blue blade, which is really cool. Uh, I said, you know what, it's kind of flashy. Uh, I bought that one off Amazon if you haven't seen the video of it and this is very comparable in size and shape and a little bit higher in price but I was like you know what I'm gonna get it just because it's kind of cool looking and uh, and put it in a knife video down the line so there you go pick that up too now let's get into the firearms okay so I've been trying to find a nine millimeter single stack um compact very compact firearm that's more of like a pocket firearm you know uh, can fit in if you're wearing some cargo shorts or something like that or just a jacket pocket and i do have the um making a lot of noise there i do have the glock 43 and i and uh i think i did a video on it but the the 43 is nice don't get me wrong but when I was looking at firearms to, to, to meet that criteria for myself, <clears throat> the Diamondback DB9 was one of them that I looked at or was thinking about. And I haven't seen one in a long time. And, of course, I'm too lazy to order one. 
But I was at this pawn store in Dover, and they have, and they carry new firearms, and, and they had one. And so this is the Diamondback, the DB9. Um, and I'm going to try it out. I'm going to do a comparison of it with the uh, Glock 43, I think, and see what I think. Uh, it does, it only came with one magazine, so I've, I've got to get another magazine before I can do that comparison. But, um, yeah, it's a... You know, like I said, it's a neat little firearm, and I've I've done a little bit looking into it, and like I said, it was one of the ones on my list to to maybe try out if I came across one. And it, you know, out the door I was under three hundred dollars, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna get it and uh, and try it out. So we'll see what I think uh, about it. So you can look forward to a video of that comparing it to uh, the Glock 43 and probably a couple other smaller. Uh, nine millimeters like single stack um, nine millimeters I have or that somebody has and has loaned me to to use in that comparison so <clears throat> all right now <laughs> <coughs> this this guy this last firearm is freaking awesome now I really like the old school lever action cowboy style firearms I've been building up my collection and I've been looking for a 357 lever action and there i have i have various ffls looking for me i have wish lists out there and i just happened to walk into the store and they had two of these and one guy was buying one of them and while i was holding this one there were people looking at me and they were giving me that look like you know if you put that thing down i'm buying it so i had to go with it and all right so i'll just uh, here it is so this guy here this is a rossi 357 lever action rifle and it is the 16 inch model now at the store they had a 16 and an 18 inch and the other guy bought the 18 inch which i really like the, the the shorter barreled one um so the 16 inch was perfect for me and i tell you what this thing is so pretty it's so pretty man it's just a nice looking gun and I really like lever actions, and this one too is is just is just I don't know, it's it's so pretty, and the action is so nice on it, and I cannot wait to get to this to the range. Uh, I the problem is as I, I have I have plenty of 38 special ammo. I don't have uh, I think I have one box of 357, so I need to I need to go pick up some more 357 Magnum. But this was the last stop on my trip before I decide okay I'm done. I need to get back to the house. Uh, so I didn't check for any, I, I didn't pick up any 357. So I'll be looking for some of that. But you can definitely be assured I'm going to do a range video with this guy. Because, I mean, just look at that thing. Man. And I tell you what, I'm a big lever action uh, firearm person. Uh, this thing is awesome. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I'm so excited to get this thing to the range. You know, I mean... You know, I have a lot of, I have, I have a number of firearms, but something like this, you know, this classic style, um, just, I don't know, it just, it just, it just gets me. You know, I mean, I, if, if somebody said, would you rather have that or all your ARs? I'm like this. So, <laughs> cause you know, they're just, I don't know. To me, it is, it's just a beautiful firearm. Well put together. This thing is solid. Um. Yeah, and they, and I was uh, I think this one I was out the door. It was under eight hundred dollars. It, it was over seven fifty, so somewhere between seven fifty and eight hundred after taxes and the background check and stuff like that. But let me know what you think of this thing in the comments section. If you have one, by all means, let me know what you think of it. Um, if there's anything, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on in the next uh, few weeks. This guy right here, this thing is so freaking awesome. This was worth the trip alone right there. And like I said, I, I have uh, a number of FFLs um, that have put various 357s on my w on a wish list for me. And yeah, I'm going to have to tell them all. Got one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, there's still a, one lever action I want to get, and it's a mare's leg. So I'm waiting to try to find one of those. But uh, yeah, until I get one of them, this guy, man, yeah, this is going to be part of my this this is one of, this is one of those guns that you just don't ever get rid of you know it gets passed down and stuff like that so let me know what you think 
I'm super excited about it. No, maybe, you know, lever actions don't do it for you, but for me, man, it's pretty good and it's classic. Yeah, it's just, man, I like it a lot. Anyhow, all right, let me set that back down. That's my video. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you're seeing ammo wise in your area. And like I said, I, I'm seeing the ammo come back, but I'm seeing the prices still up there. So um, I would recommend not buying in bulk right now. Buy what you need. Uh, and I like to do some experimenting, you know, especially for making videos, trying out new ammo. So I will buy some of this higher stuff if I'm going to test it out. But I'm only going to, I only buy a box and or two here and there of it. So, um, but yeah, like I said, it is not time to start buying in bulk again. Just, just heads up. And uh, anyhow, uh, that's all I got for you. Like I said, leave a comment in the comment section on anything you saw in this video and your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching the channel. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram if you want to see pictures of stuff that I'm doing and places I've been uh, before I make the videos on them. And Y'all have a good day.